what we're doing today this is february the 15th 2020 is we're testing motor mount i have a whole new mounting concept that i'm trying and this is similar to what i see on the uh, what i think i see anyway on the 5v the Werner 5v radial engines only i went a little bit smaller these are the continental bushings uh, basically the same as we use in the legal legal with the half vw and uh, anyway i'm using that kind of a concept i've got a ring around it and then on this fuselage i've got it mounted up in the corners and so a lot of this is temporary and the only intent here is to check that motor mount to see if it's going to be something that i can continue further with or how it's going to stand up uh, get some ideas now one of the things that is of a concern and that i'm really paying attention to is this area right here now this bolt and these rubber bushings if everything moves uniformly you're okay but if the back of this stays still and the front tends to move then you're going to over a period of time wear that whole area out and that's what i'm really looking for um, we're going to start the engine up here shortly and uh, then you can take a look and we'll uh, get up in there with the camera at high speed and see if we can detect any movement uh, see what's going on now i've got the prop that was on orv on this one it's a 6330 and uh, I'm sorry, 67 inch diameter, 30 inch pitch. Now I've got a different oil tank on this one. One of the problems I have with my other oil tank is I get too much cooling, especially in the winter time. And so I want to reduce the cooling. My welding is not the best in the world, but so far no leaks. And uh, anyway, right now I've got wire holding it on, but uh, that'll be permanentized as I move forward. If this mount works out if the mount don't work out that's a whole different issue now i've got my fill over here and you can kind of take a look at what we're looking at over here one of the other things i'm going to do is mount my oil pressure up and gauge up in this area here and i've got a one and a half inch oil pressure gauge but i didn't get it installed in time for the test this morning now this is a 28 millimeter a vm 28 mccuney and it's factory stock it come out of the box i put it on and that's what we're running so the mixture the idle nothing is set uh at this point in time that's going to have to be refined later and uh, like i say what i'm really concerned with is the engine shaking and whatnot now these exhaust pipes these were on my half vw but uh, i have an aluminum flange and i have a piece of brass um, lightweight brass plumbing fitting there they're light I don't know how long they're gonna last or how they're gonna stand up but we'll find out anyway this is what we're looking at here and what I'm gonna do is start up all I've got three cameras on this and I'm gonna set this one up to go to fast as I can go and uh, then I'll uh, crank this thing up, see if we can get it to making some noise. Uh, I'll crank up all three of the cameras, get the engine making noise, and, uh, and then we'll see what we can do.
Uh, if you can hear me, this is the worst of the shake zone. Now, without the top wings and everything else on there, and uh, without some of the bracing that still I'm going to put in here, uh, I don't find anything to see except the three minutes in here. That concerns me. As you go up in RPM, I don't see a problem. But this right here would be pretty much the worst of the shake zone. Huh, I do believe we run out of gas. We'll kill the ignition. Okay, well, here's what I see at idle. We're getting a lot of movement here. Now, with a standard legal legal, uh, there may not be that much movement because they're, you're dealing with thicker wall tubing. Now, I've got a couple of braces to put in there that'll definitely help that. Uh, and once you get the power up, like you're normally going to be flying at, I do not see a problem there. Now, one of the things that I see is up here, I see that this end's moving a tad bit more than that end. And how much of a problem that is, I do not know. I'm afraid the only way to find out is actually go flying it. Uh, it would sure be neat if these lugs were larger and these rubber bushings could go inside the lugs. But that's a different story for another day. Um, I think I can move forward to the next step and uh, kind of see where I end up at. Um, everything looks like it's a go. Uh, once I get my oil tank mounted permanently, um, the oil pressure gauge location, and I'm moving it up there. You can see it from the pilot seat, and it saves a little bit of weight. Uh, and an ounce here and an ounce there is what we're hunting for. Now, I'm standing in front of this camera behind me, but I guess that's okay at this point in time. My throttle cable is a spare one I had for the uh, half VW, so we have an extra cable hanging down here. No carburetor attached to it. And... Uh, It'll be interesting to see how this thing responds once the wings are attached to it. I think I'm going to contact Sam and find out if they do anything special up here. Uh, other than that, I, I think I'm going to go. Um, see how these exhaust pipes work out as time goes by. And uh, I think we're in great shape. Okay, well, pardon my, my mess of my temporary connections here, but they done the job. <laughs>